Hey YouTube Rumble, what's going on ladies and gents? Hey, today I am very, 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 very excited about this cook I'm going to do. I've been waiting to do one for a very long time and today is the day. So today I am going to be doing uh, a suckling pig on the Oklahoma Joe Longhorn uh, in reverse flow mode. And uh, I got my suckling fit right now, suckling pig pig not a fig even though figs can be uh uh, uh succulents uh very uh sweet you know what i mean but anyway i have a 35 pound suckling pig that uh i just bought from central meats what's up fellas it's curvy i ain't went in and got my pig yet but uh, i want to they got this stand out here next chimichurri sauce oh i'm not blocking but this is Nick and I guess it's his chimichurri sauce that's out here today. So Nick, tell me about your product and what you got going on with it. Sure, this is our uh, chimichurri sauce originally uh, originated in Argentina. Okay. So you can use it for steaks, chicken, lamb, fish, vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made with all extra virgin olive oil, red wine vinegar, um, parsley, garlic, and seasoning. Okay. And I'm over here cooking up some of the Central Meats uh, sirloin steaks and chicken. Oh, Yeah, okay. we're giving out samples. We have some for, there for you to try. We got the spicy version, which is our black label. And now which, so our, the black label is the, yeah. and here's it go. So he's saying this is the spicy. Yep. And this is your original, original. mild. Okay, he got it on some stuff. We're going to, uh, Joanne don't like spice, but we'll let her try the mild. And let's see what Joanne thinks of it. I, she, I, she, she, got, she got that look on her face. We have a chip. Do you want to use a chip? Yeah. Oh. Here, here's a chip. Or a chip. Chip or something. That's good. <laughs> All right, Joanne. So she got that, uh, you know, I don't like trying different stuff look on her face. <laughs> what kind of meat is it? Chicken. That is chicken. So that's chicken? Yep. So you got to try it with the chicken. Cause if she don't like it, I can't cook it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Try it with the meat and stuff. Yeah, that's what you need. gotta get some chicken in there. You yeah. like it, babe? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, yeah. so it's Joanne approved. So that means I can get a bottle and take it home. Yeah. Can I get a bottle and take it home? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Nick, sure. where can people order your product and do your ship? We do all? ship. We have a website, nickbeeschimmy.com. You can also get it here in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia at Central Meats. They carry it here full time. Uh, but, you know, we ship all over the country. So go ahead and check out our website, nickbeeschimmy.com. All right. All right, fellas, so check that out. So if you do a chimichurri sauce, you'll want to give it a try uh, on your tri-tip, on your uh, steaks and chicken and all that other good stuff. They even got some chips you can try. So, um, yeah, so this, I'm Kirby. I'm going to go pick up my pig, and I'll see y'all when I get back to the house. And if you are in the Hampton Roads area, I really want to plug Central Meats. Great customer service there. Whatever your barbecue or butcher needs are, they will hook you up. So go check out Central Meats in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'll put their website somewhere right about here. And you can click in and also in the description box below. But go check them out. Great customer service. Always. Uh, I haven't had an issue with them since. And if you Comp, if you compete in the Hampton Roads area, they got some competition stuff for you too there. All right, so I have my suckling pig. Joanne is fanning the flies for me. As you know, <laughs> as soon as you bring, that's the th one down thing about my backyard is that mosquitoes and flies are everywhere. So this is going to truly be a labor of love uh, in dealing with these jokers. All right, let me get the camera set up and let's get started with um, trimming, trimming the pig up and uh getting all the stuff out again this is my first go around my first rodeo i have helped cook another pig but i was just kind of like the uh not the uh not the sous chef but the the, the assistant chef where i just say okay here you go here you go here's the here's the injection here's the rub here's the knife all right so fan faster joe fan faster <laughs> But anyway, all right, let me get the camera set up and let's go ahead and get this hog uh, trimmed up. All right? All right?
All right, y'all. Here is my suckling pig. And so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Uh, and as I said with the central meats, they split the spine for me to make it easier to manage. So, and they already did a pretty, a pretty good job of just cleaning it up for the most part. But I see a couple of things I do want to get rid of, some glands and stuff that don't look too good. So, um, Joanne, if you can bring me that, uh, bring me that trash can, put a bag in to bring it to me, set it down the table. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim out the hams and expose some of that. So when I do my injection, it'll be uh, good to go. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, this looks like a gland that I don't want to have. I'm set it right there for now. Hopefully the flies will get attracted to that and go to it. And this don't look appetizing. Now, in preparation for this, if you have a suckling pig video, I probably watched it. <laughs> I watched a number of uh, suckling pig uh, cook videos uh, in preparation for this, just to get familiar with it. Um, what else? Okay. This doesn't look appetizing. Must be one on this end. And again, I'm trying to keep the flies off it. I'm gonna take off some of this silver skin. I'm gonna remove this membrane from inside. So I can, when I go to inject, I can get my injections into it. Go ahead and clean this up. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Joe, bring me, I got some paper towels in the trailer. Bring me those too, babe. I got the ham fully exposed on that side. Man, I tell you these flies. Thank you, babe. I'm just doing, like I said, Central Meats did a pretty good job with this. I'm gonna take some paper towels and I just wanna clean up some of this. I'm probably gonna run a hose over it. I think that's 
Again, I don't see anything else that's really standing out to me as a clean me off. Maybe I might go ahead and trim around the shoulder just a skosh. Okay, so I can get some injection in it. And I'm just taking my knife and just sticking it between the meat and the skin. Just trying to trim off the, some of the skin on it. So when I go to do my injection, I can get straight into it, to the muscle. Okay, I just want to make that look even. Great. All right, y'all can stay tuned. I'm gonna go get my hose, hose it down and um, just to rinse it off, just to make sure, then I'm gonna pat it dry and uh, go ahead and get started with the injection. I do see some other stuff I want to get rid of once in a minute. I don't rinse it off. Don't know what that's here. That don't look appetizing. I'm going to take that out. All right, ladies and gents. I'll tell you what, I thought the trimming job was gonna be harder <laughs> than what it is. That's a, I thought I thought this was this process was gonna be a little bit harder. Now, if you're watching this and you obviously seeing something I should be doing but not doing. 
let me leave some comments down below let me know so the next time I go whole hog I will be able to make those corrections and I greatly appreciate it just trying to get this meat exposed on this ham okay all right I'm just going to get a little bit more of the silver skin off on this ham Try it off one more again. All right, little piggy. You ready to go to market? <clears throat> All right, here's my uh, injection. Just butcher's... Um, open pit pork is what I'm using today so I'm going to go ahead and start with the hams and work my way up Next, I'm gonna try to go between the ribs and the belly. The one thing I did here emphasize was don't go through the skin. So I'm gonna make sure I do not penetrate the skin. So the presentation of the pork would be on point. I'm gonna hit the loin right here. Make that all nice and juicy. Hit this loin. Gonna pump it up. And again, going into some of the belly meat. Gonna go behind the ribs. Gonna hit the shoulders. <clears throat> so 
see something like a vein or something. Let me get that. That don't look too appetizing. Whatever it is. Okay. Bring you guys around to this side as I work on the other side. All right. And again, I'm gonna go here. The one question I'm gonna ask God uh, when I get to heaven. Why did he invent flies? I feel a lot of grit. Let me, let me get that out. Okay, that feels better. Okay, that feels better. Hit it again. Just... Try to go between the bones. Ooh. Get my second jaw. Shoot up this ham. Get some of the jowl meat, inject it. Mm. Ah. 
trying to swat them dig on flies. I don't think it's anywhere else. I haven't quite hit all the ribs on this side yet. All right, I think she's good and injected. I'm just gonna rub some of this uh, Injection over this so it can act as a binder. I don't like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my rubs. I'm gonna start with my AP rub. My AP Plus, go and get it all coated with that, get my hams. Shoulders, go and get it a nice liberal coating of this AP rub that I use. This is my base. All right, cover that side of it. All right. Next, I'm gonna go with um, Blues Hog Sweet and Savory. That's my top layer. Sure, I got good coverage on everything. I got to tell you, I really thought the trimming process was going to be a whole lot harder. I guess if I would have just let them do it, let uh, he had asked me did I want them to split the spine, maybe that would have gave me a little bit more pause. But yeah, overall, it's going well. Okay, so ladies and gents, that is it. I'm just gonna hit it one more time since I put it, put, put it in. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I got a cooler. I'm gonna set it in the cooler, put a couple of bricks on it so don't know raccoons or nothing, try to crawl in it over the night. <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be it for my first part of this cook. Hope I didn't cover a fly while I'm trying to get this ready. All right. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. My first suckling pig is in trimmed, cleaned, injected, and seasoned. And I am now ready to put this to nap and let those things marinate. And um, I'm going to get up about 6 o'clock in the morning, the little get togethers at four so I'm gonna get up at six and hopefully that's gonna give me enough time to get it cooked if not I have some other things that they can snack on to the pig comes off all right so I will see you guys in the morning